Hey guys, Jared Wesley here of Live Traders, and I'm back for another quick tips lesson. Today's is a very important lesson, one that I happen to get quite a few emails on. You see, a lot of traders out there, they focus on the charts, bottoming tails, topping tails, breakouts, three bar plays, buy setups, whatever, and all those things are very important. Why? Well, because we're pattern traders. However, the greatest pattern on the planet, I don't care how good it is, means nothing if you can't get filled on the trade, right? If you can't get the shares that you need, then it doesn't matter how good the pattern is. So today we're gonna to talk about one thing specifically. How big of a stop limit order do you need to get filled on a trade, okay? One, quick recap. You use stop limit orders for your entries, you use stop market orders for your stop losses, and you use limit orders for your targets. Do not confuse these three things. Today's topic is how much room to give your stop limit orders on an entry. And I'm here to tell you, it varies a little bit, but a general guideline, a good guideline would simply be 20% of the size of your stop loss. So for example, if you have a $1 stop loss, you're gonna give your stop limit order 20 cents. So for example, let's say your entry is $100, your stop loss is $99, that's a $1 stop loss. You're gonna give your stop limit order from $100 up to 100.20, that's 20 cents, okay? You're gonna give about 20%. So for example, if your stop loss was 20 cents, you would give it about four or five cents to get filled on that trade, okay? Now, are there exceptions and variations? Sure, some stocks are a little spreadier, some stocks are a little whippier, but what I'm getting a lot of emails about is people are saying, that was a great pattern, Jared, but I got skipped on it. Yeah, well, because you didn't give it enough room, and maybe another time, another day for another quick tips lesson, we'll talk about anticipating some of those entries. But today, it's simply about how much room you give a stop limit order to get filled. So what I wanna do, just real briefly, I'm only gonna spend a couple minutes on this. I'm gonna go to the computer back here, okay? We're gonna take a look at some real stocks right now live. I'll do a screen record, okay? And we'll take a look at the spread of certain stocks. We'll take a look at the whippiness, and I'll tell you in real time, hey, you're gonna need to give this one 10 cents. You're gonna to give this one 30 cents. And if you do this properly, guys, you should almost never get skipped. I can't say never because there are times when crazy stuff happens and you might get skipped on an entry, all right? But 20% of the size of your stop limit order is what you're looking for for an average trade. And remember, entry, stop limit order. Stop loss, stop market order, and target is a limit order. This will absolutely help you from being skipped excuse me, ever again. Now again, you might get skipped occasionally, but 90 plus percent of the time you'll get filled. It astonishes me when I see people trading Tesla or Nvidia or Amazon and they're giving their orders like two cents, three cents. Of course you're gonna get skipped. The spread is 50 cents or a dollar on stocks like that. So the greatest pattern in the world means nothing if you can't get filled, all right? So let's head to the computer. I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. I'm Jared Wesley of Live Traders. We'll get back at it again soon. All right, guys, so I wanted to go over this to you very briefly. Like, for example, today, there was a three bar play on NVIDIA on the one minute chart. Wide range bar, narrow range bar, drop. Now, unfortunately, I didn't take this trade. Um, but you can see down here, 731.61 would have been your entry price and your stop loss would have been 734.01. So $2.40 on your stop loss. So $2.40. Now take a look to the left. Look at this spread on NVIDIA here, right? Right now, if we keep up with the spread here, you're looking at about a 20 cent spread on NVIDIA. This is actually very tight. It opens up at times, as you can see right here, 30 cents, 40 cents. So the spread on NVIDIA is quite wide, all right? So we wanna make sure that we're giving this enough room to get filled on. So. If you have a $2.40 stop loss, using the 20% rule, you would give this thing about 50 cents, 48 cents, 50 cents. Well, if you take a look, the spread is anywhere from 10 to 30 or 40 cents. And at off the open today on NVIDIA, the spread was even wider than that. So 40 to 50 cents is the appropriate amount. Now, the question is, for many of you that, that traded this or trade these types of stocks, you get skipped a lot because you're not giving it enough room. You're sitting there going, oh, well, you know, I'll give it 10 cents or I'll give it five cents. You're not going to get filled, okay? So let me show you what this looks like. Let's just do it with like 10 shares. I'm not actually gonna get filled here. I'm gonna go to the low of the day just to be out, out of the, the money on this thing pretty far if I can get down there fast enough, right? 
okay? Um, NVIDIA went down to, I don't know what the low is here. We'll get there at some point, right? Um, here we go. So right here is the low of the day on NVIDIA. So if I wanted to place an order for NVIDIA short, okay, short, I have a stop limit order, click 71292, and I'm gonna go all the way down and give this thing like 40 cents. So now I have an order in for 10 shares short on NVIDIA, 71292 all the way down to 71244. Okay, what this simply means, and if I can go over to here, if I go to like open orders, you can see it right down there. 71292 with a limit at 71245. Now, why is that important? Because if, if Nvidia came all the way down, if I wanted to trade this, I don't want to trade it. I'm giving it this much room to get filled. You see, if you only give it 10 cents, you're going to get skipped because the spread is too big. On the flip side of this, if you used a stop market order to get filled, you might get filled a dollar lower, two dollars lower, if something happens or a news report comes out. You see, the benefit of a stop limit order is it allows you, okay, how much space you want to give the trade. Does that make sense? You're saying to the market maker, saying, hey, look, at 712.92, I want you to trigger my entry, but I'm only willing to pay down to 712.44. That's it. Okay, that's the room or 712.45. That's the space. If you cannot fill me in this range, I don't want to be filled. If you use a stop market order, you're telling the market maker saying, just fill me. I don't care where. Just fill me. I don't care where. Now, let's cancel this. Now, what if it was on the long side, right? Let's go all the way back up to the high of the day, okay? Now, what if I wanted to go long on this thing, which is all the way up here at 740, right there, okay? Same situation. If it's got a, a $2.50 stop loss, I'm going to start my order here at 741.40 and go up, give it about 45, 50 cents, boom. Now I have a long order in for this. I'm looking to buy NVIDIA. In this case, 741.40 is my stop. And the limit, the most amount of money I am willing to pay up for NVIDIA is 46 cents, which is 741.86, okay? So that's how you do a stop limit order. Now, let's do one more thing here. Let's just say we wanted to take Goldman Sachs. Uh, this one's probably not a good example. Why? Let's use like Microsoft or something because this is a much tighter trading stock. All right. So if you went to the Microsoft chart, let's just say you wanted to buy Microsoft today. Take a look at the spread here. The spread's two or three cents. It's not 30 or 40 cents like NVIDIA. So if I wanted to trade Microsoft and let's say Microsoft had a 50 cent stop loss, which is pretty common for Microsoft, right? I'm going to give this thing 10 cents. So I would go up to the high of the day and let's say I want to get in at 263.50. I'm going to click 263.50 right here, go up and I'm going to give it 10 cents to 263.60. That's it. 10 cents, right? Go down to the bottom here, 263.50 is where the stop is. That's where I would like to be filled, but I am not willing to pay more than 263.60 if it had a 50 cent stop loss. Okay, so I, I wanna keep this short because I could talk about this for a long time, but I want you guys to understand that you can't give these things like one penny or two penny stop limit orders. You gotta give them some room to get filled, especially on spready stocks like Nvidia when they have 30, 40 cent spreads. All right, so I'm Jared Wesley of Live Trades. I hope you guys learned a little bit about how to get filled using stop limit orders. Mm -hmm.